Meg has lived with multiple sclerosis for more than a decade. Her symptoms can be managed, but not improved. I'm pretty tired most afternoons. I've had to give up work because I just couldn't work and just keep doing all the other things. So it's made a fairly big impact on my life. A clinical trial underway with the Menzies Institute for Medical Research in Tasmania is hoping to change that. Researchers are exploring the effects of magnetic brain stimulation, an existing treatment for depression. What we've done is to adapt this and we've tried to make a lower intensity um, stimulation that will also affect a broader area of the brain. An electromagnetic coil is placed over the head of a patient to activate nerve cells in the brain. It's hoped it can repair and regrow damaged myelin, the brain's insulation. We would hope, based on our, how we've, what we've seen in our first stage, that we'll be able to show, using our MRI measures or magnetic resonance imaging studies, that we've been able to add myelin to the brain. Now, if we can show that, that would be a major step forward. Phase two of the trial is now open to participants. Researchers are hopeful that by early 2024, they'll have some clear results. I think this is like the final frontier for MS really, in the sense that what we really need is a brain repair treatment. So if this works, it would be the first internationally of its kind. And that would be just so wonderful to get back those things you've lost. That's a dream of everybody with MS, I think. Meg Whitfield, ABC News.